but more important, a friend forever. Aww. Uh, hey, he looked like he didn't want to hang it up, but he, he kind of had to. That's how he looking. A friend forever. He's sad. Man dedicated his life to that, probably. I dedicated my life to basketball. I literally, there's no way I literally just said this. I know, I know what he mean though. Like, y'all got to think about this. When these sports players, like, start from young playing this sport and go all the way up until, like, you know, they grow in, it's hard to step away because literally their whole identity, the per like how they identify with they self is through that sport. Without that sport, they don't even feel like they self. What are they going to do with their free time? Because in their free time before, all they literally did, they literally whole life, they never worked jobs. They never had to do that. So now, what do you do with your time now that they just, it's all gone. Your, your life literally in the past, never to be done again. That's how they be feeling. You can literally see this in this man's eye. The topic of the day is Larry Bird. Today, I'm going to be doing something that I ain't did yet. We going to do a basketball reaction to Larry Bird's ultimate mixtape. Now, I didn't heard Larry Bird was super, super cold. But I never watched him. I never sat down and took the time to watch him. So today we about to watch Larry Bird's highlights, man. Let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen. Retirement ceremony. Okay. Okay, Larry Bird, I see you fly. <laughs> you fly in that little uni. He was saying. We just listened to No Cap, my bad. <laughs> Let's get it. He was the most motivated player I ever saw. Okay. Larry Bird. Hey, we like effort. Is one of the biggest trash talkers ever. Trash talker. Basketball genius. Ooh, tween the legs. Uh, we starting it off tween the legs. Mask of a hick from Finch Lick <laughs> out it, as it's called. Okay. And Give me those. That for one second. Okay. Uh, you were going to get beaten. Ooh. <laughs> It looks so slow, but he got his ass with that man. It looks slow, but he got him with it. He put him on his butt. Yeah, one second, <laughs> uh, you were going to get beat. What? Oh! <laughs> then looked at him and threw it in though. Oh, he was dunking too? Yo. Ooh! <laughs> what? I did not know Larry Bird was doing dudes like this. What? He got them boys on skates? Oh my goodness. Hey, that was a nice edit. Dom? Okay. What? Oh! No. No. That man going crazy. Okay. Ooh. Hey, is this a... I'm not gonna lie, it's disrespectful because he keep... Dang. He done, he done found, it, it probably felt like slow motion for the person who failed. He and that bit, they hit you with that bit. Splash, right in your face. <laughs> what? Hey! Okay, you are fly, Larry Bird. You are fly. That was a nice one. Just, no effort. T Grizzly. <laughs> Twin the legs. Damn. Ooh! Ooh! No, he got him. Disrespectful. Okay. What's on the team? In the mouth? We'll walk out. And Larry said, I'm going to get a poster. Here, and I'm going to shoot it in your face. He was talking trash like that? He told him, when I get you in the post, what? <laughs> he said, he going to put it in his face. And Larry said, I'm going to get it right here, Ed, and I'm going to shoot it in your face. Dang. Dang. He he looked at me, he was like, damn. I didn't mean to leave nothing on the clock. That's the first three-point contest, he says. I'm just, just looking to see who's going to finish second. This is what? For the money. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to lie. See, it's the difference between confident and arrogant. Larry Bird was confident, not arrogant. Because if you go out there and you do it every time, 
like he doing, then you just confident. You know how good you are. It can't nobody debate it because it's coming true. Arrogant is when you're doing it and it ain't nothing happening for you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, he's just arrogant, but he not really like that. No, he's like that. Dominate guarded him, Cliff guarded him, Antoine guard got him, my guard him. Bro, look at the dude on the bench, yo. Dude put his head back. Dominate he was hurt. Him, Cliff guarded him, Antoine guard got him. Look at him. He hurting. <laughs> my guard him. Uh, nothing worked. Bird with eight seconds. Bird on the drive. The Come on, man. Was good again. Oh. Easy Curry little floater. No. 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 He cheating? Is he cheating? How is he on them hoes like that? What? Is he cheating? He was not supposed to make that? What? Oh my goodness. You seen the dude on the bench? <laughs> they was clowning on the bench over there. Ooh. <laughs> he got that boy laid out on the bench, dog. He called it. Uh, he said rainbow uh, trainer's lap. No. Oh, bro, even the dude on the bench. <laughs> That's how I know I'm not overreacting because the dude on the bench is over here climbing into the stands, dog. He knew it was about to be in there. Oh. 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 <laughs> I said that. <laughs> Yo, who is the dude on the video? Bro, I said that first. Has 60 points. He would do a head fake. Dang. Or he would. That's the thing. If it's gonna go in there every time, the head fake gonna work. This and the guy would turn and he would just fake the crap out of guy. Dang. Nice. Dang. Okay. Ooh, how did he get that off? Very told all of us and the media he said, more nice the last game of the trip. I'm gonna play this one left handed. And left hand? The end of three quarters the next night in Portland. No. Seven points left hand. No, I'm not going to lie. That's ridiculously different. You going to play left handed? Nah. Because I can't do nothing with my left hand. Ooh. It's just deceiving when you see these old plays because they don't look... As athletic as the as the people who His body was we see, the basket, but they was probably just as athletic, if not more, because he is like you can't fake this. We literally watching it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so he was a, just all around cold player. He was just like that. Boom! Splash. It does not count. And Larry just hit what would have been the game winning shot, but KC called timeout. Larry no. came back to the bench and you know, he was a little upset. He looks at the bench and says, Hey guys, when I come back after timeout, I'm going to go right to the same spot and I'm going to kick it in. The ball looks by one. Aims to Bird. He gets a good shot in the What? Oh, this is something. No. See? He, if you like that, you could do that. What? <laughs> no, I got to step my game up. He would just flick it or tap it or bounce it to a teammate without even catching it. And sometimes, sometimes being confident make you live up to the expectation. Sometimes you need to will yourself there by telling yourself, oh, I'm going to do this. And then now that you're on the spot and everybody like, look at this. You know, now you done showed up. Larry Bird Cole. What? Okay, no, that was no look. Dunk it, yo. Ooh, behind the step back. Oh yeah, he was like that, and he was lanky. He just looked a little stiff. That's all. <laughs> that's all. He just looked a little stiff. No. Hey, it's me, your dry skin. I'm craving something we're missing. The ceramides and Sarah V. They help. No, you better cut it out. You better cut it out. You better cut it out, man. You better cut it out. Hey. Disrespectful. 
Yeah, he liked that. Yo. Yeah. What? He got some handles too. He got some handles. He really just an all around player. He dunking on people, passing that thing. The vision. I think that the Celtic fans, I think that most of the arena and the Detroit Pistons forgot that Larry Bird hadn't quit. Now that's a steal by Bird. Okay. He, sh he pretty shifty too. Playoffs versus the Pacers. Ooh. Bird is hurt. Bird is down and he's hurt. And Larry Bird is headed to the locker room for treatment. And on top of all of these. Boy, might have got CTE. Concussion. Larry Bird plays hurt. Dang. Dang. Dang, that boy. That boy, I was toe up. Dang. Look like he ain't got no teeth in. <laughs> Dang. What? Oh, he was a tough one. I feel like back in the day, they was really good because they were so tough. Like, even like, you know, the testosterone was just like. The studies have shown that the testosterone is lowering. Back then, you could even look at your, your dad, your granddad. They just tougher men. Like, they hard. Like, they be assholes, but they tougher men. You know what I'm saying? So, like, back in the day, you really had to show somebody. Like, that was your whole attitude. So, whenever he get hurt, like, he's just trying to show people, like, I I'm like that. Like, and he's still going to go out there and throw that thing in the, in the net like it's nothing. Like, that's, that's the type of man they was trying to actually be throughout their life. Like, no matter what they did, that's the type of man they was trying to be. They just happened to play basketball or football or whatever. The Indiana Pacers pick up their the boys wouldn't the play. Right if they got to fight on the court, they're going to fight on the court. <laughs> Some short shorts. Now we're going back to the short shorts. That boy ran back out there. Everybody started yelling. Oh, yeah, Larry back. Dude, no, hey, dude on the bench knew what was up. He about to get out the spot. Hold up. <laughs> he was like, let me move for Larry. Hold up. Oh, he didn't got, <laughs> he didn't got down. Never mind. <laughs> he fractured it? Oh, yeah. Them old heads be different. He liked that. Yo. Yo. Easy. They have different personalities. Uh oh, Magic. I, I gotta but check out a Magic Johnson one. I, I ain't seen Magic Johnson play. I done heard about him. I heard he a legend. Dang! What? Them boys out there getting it up like that? Hold up! They just murked dude. They just murdered that boy. Oh yeah, oh yeah! Oh yeah, we scrapping. I ain't gonna lie. We getting up scrapping. The whole team gotta beat me up behind that. Oh, they out there playing for real. Ooh! Yo. So he wasn't playing no hoes. Them boys was out there playing. The highlights will make you think different. <laughs> what? What? Oh, Magic was like that too. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Like war out there. In his face. Yeah, move around. Big wanky people. In there. In there. Get out of my way. Five seconds to go. Magic with a hook shot. Scores. Something that I see different in new NBA players and old NBA players is the thickness. Like, the athleticism in the thicker players is, like, up here. 
Like back in the day, they used to have tall people, but they was a little lanky. Like you could tell they were strong, but lanky. Nowadays, they be kind of beefy if I'm if they make any sense. Bro, they, they stay out there and the boys still play. <laughs> no, dog. No. It was that, bro, they still playing. Why are they out there? <laughs> They got the what? <laughs> oh, they was turned back in the day. I seen people with their shirt off. Please welcome now the Irvin Magic Johnson. What? To, uh, the greatest basketball player ever. But more important, a friend. Oh, hey, he looked like he didn't want to hang it up, but he, he kind of had to. That's how he looking. A friend. He said. Man dedicated his life to that, probably. I dedicated my life to basketball. I literally, there's no way I literally just said this. I know, I know what he mean, though. Like, y'all got to think about this. When these sports players, like, start from young playing this sport and go all the way up, until like, you know, they grow me in. It's hard to step away because literally they whole identity, the per like how they identify with they self is through that sport. Without that sport, they don't even feel like they self. What are they gonna do with their free time? Because in their free time before, all they literally did, they literally whole life, they never worked jobs. They never had to do that. So now what do you do with your time? Now that they just, it's all gone. Your, your life literally, in the past, never to be done again. That's how they be feeling. You can literally see this in this man's eye. It's crazy. And I'm low key going through that right now. If you don't know, if you happen to be watching this video, I just started this reaction channel and I'm a college athlete and I wasn't able to compete for my last semester. So like now, like my whole life has been sports and now it's been ripped away and I'm trying to find myself. And like, I can't even imagine doing that at this age. That's crazy. I dedicated my life to the Boston Celtics. They also used to do that. Career. How y'all feel about that? Back in the day, they really used to stick to their franchise. Like they, the people in the in the city knew that they had a superstar every year. Life to the Boston Celtics. My basketball career is officially over, and I had a blast. I'm glad. You and I as long as you had a blast. Good night. I had a blast when I was playing sports too. That's really what it's about. Short and sweet. He got kids. He could enjoy his kids. That was beautiful, man. Right there it is. Magic Johnson Ultimate Mixtape. Should I react to it? Let me know down in the comment section, man. I hope y'all guys enjoyed that. I got a lot more respect for Larry Bird now. I never seen... The mixtape or nothing like that. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, I liked that I was able to connect with him when he like kind of like had his retirement. That's beautiful, man. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to join the Vex Mob. Dang, that boy Larry Cole, man. I didn't even know he was that cold. Why ain't nobody tell me this man was that cold? <laughs> That's ridiculous.